everybody. Today we're going to learn about the port mirroring function. What is the port mirroring function? Ah, the port mirroring function copies packets that pass through a specified port called the source or mirrored port to another port called the destination or observing port. When will we use the port mirroring function? During network O&M, network administrators often need to obtain and analyze packets on devices for service monitoring and fault location purposes. During this process, you can use the port mirroring function. The function copies packets on a mirrored port to an observing port without affecting packet processing on devices. Network administrators can then analyze the copied packets sent from the observing port without affecting the forwarding of service packets. Now we're going to learn how to configure the port mirroring function. The port mirroring function is easy to configure and requires just two steps. Step 1. Configure the port that connects the switch to a monitoring device as an observing port. Step 2. Configure the port with packets to be mirrored in order to mirror received or sent packets to the observing port. After you perform the two preceding steps, the port mirroring function will have been configured on the switch. To obtain the mirrored packets, you just need to start the monitoring software on the monitoring device. Now, I'll show you how to configure port mirroring on a device. As shown in the figure to the right, we need to mirror packets from downstream hosts. Firstly, configure the port that connects switch A to the monitoring device as an observing port. Secondly, configure the port that connects switch A to a downstream host or host B as a mirrored port and mirror the packets received on the mirrored port to the observing port. After the two steps have been completed, the port mirroring function will have been configured on switch A. In the next example, we will use Wireshark, a commonly used packet analyzer software, to demonstrate how the monitoring device obtains mirrored packets. Step 1. Start the Wireshark software. Step 2. Click the capture option on the menu bar. A drop-down list box is displayed. Select Options. Then, in the drop-down list, on the right, select the network adapter that connects to switch A. Step 3. Click Start to begin capturing packets. You can see that the monitoring device has obtained packets with source address 192.168.3.1. This address is the IP address of downstream host B, indicating that the port mirroring has been configured successfully. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. Where do you find these threads? Using Google search, type in all about switches site colon Huawei.com in the search field and click any of the displayed links to enter the Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the homepage. The All About Switches threads describes typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.